G'day guys, I'm um, just out here, hooked up the mower just a few moments ago, um, but now I'm about to put some of those suffix in the shearing shed, just because there's rain coming tonight and we're going to shear them in just a couple days, so yeah, I'll put them in the shed and keep them nice and dry. Not all of them fit in the shed, so I'm just going to put them in here, just got to pull out the old combine and put those gates across the front. I'll get the 66 out to get the combine out of the shed. Well, it's the next day. I'm out here just about to take the mower out and go mow some fire breaks. The sheep are still in the shed, so they didn't escape overnight. Right, I'm just about to head into the wheat paddock and go around. I just went around the oats just here. It's oat and clover, that's why there's so much greenery in it. But you can see that the wheat is quite ripe. We'd normally do it a lot earlier than bale these rows, but um, the season's been way too wet and we haven't been able to get on the paddocks. This is the first week we've had. It's been dry enough to have a go at mowing them, but we're not gonna bale them this year. So we're just gonna cut them out, just so there's a fire break. There's a problem. That blade is they're supposed to be sticking out like well, that one. So it's been knocked and hit under. So what about the next one? 
It's the same. It's pretty ideal. It's the end of there. I just noticed when I was walking around. Look how many spiders are on the Blades are back to normal. I'm gonna continue with the oats and there's a couple of paddocks of wheat, but yeah, so let's get going. So I was just making my way around this last wheat paddock up here and I ended up in a bit of a wet spot. It's not stuck, but I can't pull the mower forward, like I can't move forward, but I can move backwards because the wheel of the mower is in the rut of the tractor. So the mower is acting like a plough and I don't want to damage the blade or anything. don't want it to be pushing a heap of mud and the tractor can't pull it. So I'm going to try lifting it up to the um, road travel height and see if I can get the blades off the mud so yeah we'll try that and see what happens so I've raised it to the road height and that seemed to get that blade a fair way off the ground so we'll give it a go yeah she's not moving I won't even go backwards now. The blade's not on the ground. It's just that wheel's being such an anchor. I can't move. Oh, I made it back, got a bit of help. But um, it looks like there's a storm brewing over there. But I'm still gonna unhook the 6080 from the spray rig and get ready to take it down to pull the other one out. So we're back down here, we're just going to take the 6080 around and try and pull the tractor out from the front. So just going to drive through the crop here because this is just water. <coughs> so that didn't go as planned, so we're going to go get my ute. And this tractor's not really bold, it's just that stat stock too much tension on it and it can't reverse. So we're gonna go get my ute, put the winch on it, and try and pull that tractor backwards to undo that strap. Oh, he's racing me. So this is what we're doing. We're trying to winch the tractor out. It's not really stuck, it's just, it won't reverse, so what is stuck? So we'll give it a go. So we ended up getting two of them out. We're just gonna leave the last one and this one up here. Had to dry out a bit. We'll come back tomorrow when it's a bit drier. So next day we ended up getting it out, the smash trap back there. Um, we just went around in a big arc and it just came straight out. Just bringing the last tractor home now. And the boy. So everything's safe and sound but that'll probably do for today's video so thanks for watching